Hey, what's going on YouTube? In this video, I want to show you what you can do with your 5, uh, 1 Mac Pro. Now, mine is a dual core that I picked up a few years back off Craigslist for about $700 or so. And if you look on uh, eBay uh, with current pricing, uh, you can kind of get these relatively cheap, anywhere from about $400 to about $1,000. Uh, it all really depends on what kind of configuration you go with, whether you go with a single or dual CPU. Uh, you can also upgrade RAM, uh, hard drive, pretty much everything in it. And it, the nice part about these is it comes with PCIe Gen 2.0 uh, slots, which the current one does not. Now, here's what I'm going to be upgrading. The graphics card, the SSD, a network card, and last is a USB-C, USB 3.1, and an eSATA card. Now, the hard drive, I'm not going to run on the SATA 2 bus, which is going to limit its speed. So that's why I picked up a uh, PCIe card that it mounts onto. Now, if you could see here, uh, the RX Vega draws a lot of power, so that's why you're going to have to tap into the uh, SATA ports where your hard drives are connected to. So you're going to lose hard drive connectivity, but you know, in my case, I'm getting a 10 gigabit network card, which increases its speed. Now, you could see here, it's not necessarily the prettiest setup, but it gets the job done and it, uh, it powers it up uh, fine. Now, on the back, you can see... Uh, the I.O. has been improved, the 10 gig NIC and the USB-C with USB 3.1. Now when you start it up, it powers right on. The beauty with all these parts, with everything except a network card, everything is supported in OSX natively. Uh, when I was making this video, I was using uh, High Sierra and it works fine. You don't need drivers for the uh, graphics card or anything other than the network card. You can see it works, boots fine. Uh, just give it a sec. There we go. Takes a little bit longer to load up, but it is what it is. Uh, you can see the system specs right here, and you can see on the PCIe cards, everything shows up. Once again, you have to install a NIC. Now, hey, time for some benchmarks. Enjoy.